Hi friends and welcome to your daily devotional for Saturday, August 29th, 2020. We are at the end of another week. And all this week we've been talking about responsibility, about the things and people for which we are responsible. For the next few moments I invite you to think about this past week. Which of your responsibilities did you live up to? And which ones did you decide to let go? We begin today by turning to Psalm 26. We'll be reading verses 1 through 8. And this reading and all of the readings today come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Establish justice for me, Lord, because I have walked with integrity. I've trusted the Lord without wavering. Examine me, Lord. Put me to the test. Purify my mind and my heart, because your faithful love is right in front of me. I walk in your truth. I don't spend time with people up to no good. I don't keep company with liars. I detest the company of evildoers, and I don't sit with wicked people. I wash my hands. They are innocent. I walk all around your altar, Lord, proclaiming out loud my thanks, declaring all your wonderful deeds. I love the beauty of your house, Lord. I love the place where your glory resides. Let us pray. God, when I am bent down, raise me up. When I am yoked to trouble, release me. When I am cast out, accept me, free me, so that I can set others free too. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 15, verses 10 through 14. Listen for God's word. I wish I had never been born. I have become a source of conflict and dissension in my own country. Even though I haven't lent or borrowed, still everyone curses me. The Lord said, haven't I taken care of you? Haven't I helped you with your enemies in times of trouble and distress? Can a person shatter iron, iron from the north or bronze? Your wealth and belongings I will deliver as plunder without a fee because of all your sins throughout your territory. I will make you serve your enemies in a land you don't know, for my finger blazes like a fire that won't go out. The prophet here laments his very existence. And God responds with some of the ways that God has protected and taken care of him. Have you ever been so down that you've missed God's presence in your life? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 8, verses 14 through 17. Listen again for God's word to us. Jesus went home with Peter and saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever let her go. Then she got up and served them. That evening, people brought to Jesus many who were demon-possessed. He threw the spirits out with just a word. He healed everyone who was sick. This happened so that what Isaiah the prophet said would be fulfilled. He is the one who took our illnesses and carried away our diseases. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus was quite the healer, wasn't he? What would 
would the world be like if we had a healer like that among us today? Let us pray. Holy God, thank you for showing up when all I can do is ask that you send someone else. I give you thanks for sending me even when I don't want to go, for trusting me with the work you have called me to do, and for the gifts that I will uncover as I do it. Go with me into the difficult moments so that I can sense your constant presence. Teach me to live in gratitude for all that I am learning. Amen. Beloved, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Go in peace. I hope you will join us for worship tomorrow. We will be back to our regular schedule on Facebook Live or Zoom in the morning and later in the afternoon here on YouTube. Stay healthy, stay well.